ASMR. Hey everybody, um, I have a really bad toothache, so I'm not going to be chewing gum in this video. Actually, speaking of that, um, a few of you have told me that you want me to try a few videos where I'm whispering or softly speaking or tapping and not chewing gum or eating anything. So I'll work on that. Also, I know that a few of you want me to chew like four pieces of gum at once and do really big bubbles. Um, as soon as my teeth are feeling better, I will attempt something like that again. But I was going to say if anyone has any requests for types of videos, I'll put my email address in the description and you can send me a request or you can leave one in the comment section. I don't have, unfortunately, um, a community tab yet. I don't think you get those until you have like a thousand subs, so. But anyway, today I want to talk about some of my favorite Halloween movies. So let's get started. Okay, the first one is called Mr. Boogity. Now, Mr. Boogity uh, premiered in April of 1986, which would have been the first time that I saw it. Um, I had the Disney Channel back then because my parents had a huge satellite dish in the backyard. Um, our rural area did not get cable, but I'm not sure if Disney was available on cable yet back then, or if it was only a satellite thing. It's hard to say, because these days, um, people either seem to have cable, or a tiny satellite dish, or they only have internet and streaming, but, um, back then, we couldn't get cable, but we were one of the lucky few people that I knew that had the Disney Channel, because we had a satellite dish. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you're in your mid to late 30s or in your 40s, um, you may or may not have had the Disney Channel. So you may or may not know what this movie is. Mr. Bookity was basically um, a movie about a family whose father was a novelty salesman, which means that he sold things like fake vomit and um, those googly-eyed glasses where the eyeballs would, um, pop out on springs and, like, you know, magic tricks, anything that could be, like, a practical joke. That's what he sold. Um, he moved his family into a New England town and into a very old house. Um, it kind of reminds me of, like, I don't, the name, I think the name of the town was actually Lucifer Falls or something cheesy like that, but it kind of gives off like a Salem, Massachusetts type vibe, which makes sense because, um, weird things start happening in the house, like glowing lights and, you know, things moving and stuff like that, and at first, you know, the little boys see things first, I believe, and, um, at first, everyone blames it on the dad because he loves playing practical jokes, but eventually they realize there are actual people, Puritans, basically, like, pilgrims are, like, the people, if you've ever watched a documentary or a movie on the Salem Witch Trials, like, those type of people, are haunting their house, and two of the beings that are haunting their house are innocent, nice, Puritan people, but one of the beings, Mr. Boogity, is evil, and he basically looks like an even more messed up Freddy Krueger that glows green, and I don't know, I need to watch the movie again, because as a kid, 
um, I had seen Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th and Poltergeist and for some reason there was something about this movie like the low budget creepy ghost stuff like really creeped me out big time and it always scared me so I don't know for sure if it would still have that effect or not but I'm interested to see uh, this movie had in the cast uh, I'm not sure if how to pronounce it Richard Mazur Richard Mazur I'm not sure um, he was I believe wasn't he the father I think he was the father in License to Drive and he was the uncle in the My Girl movies um, Mimi Kennedy she is on uh, that TV show was it Mom I think um, I think Benji Gregory I'm pr let me check I'm pretty sure he's that little boy from Elf Wilbur in 
Charlotte's Web plays Igor. And John Shuck, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this right. It's funny, he plays the Frankenstein monster. And he also, I'm pretty sure, played Herman Munster in the 80s revival of the Munsters. Ooh, and as you know, if you're familiar with the Munsters, Herman Munster is the Frankenstein monster. Um, there's some other famous people in here, but I don't want to click too much on them because it tends to uh, get stuck when I'm recording on the screen. Yeah, I really liked this movie. Um, you can find it on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't want to give away what happens, but it's a cute little movie. Um, I forgot to click the third one. That was part of Disney's Halloween treat. Now this movie, it was first a book and it was made into a TV series. And then it was made into another TV, they rebooted the TV series. They probably will reboot the movie, but uh, this is my favorite hands down Halloween movie right here. The Worst Witch, which came out in 1986. Um, I'm a huge fan of the movie, I'm sorry, I'm a huge fan of the TV show The Facts of Life. And Charlotte Ray, who played Mrs. Garrett on Different Strokes and The Facts of Life was in this movie uh, playing a dual role. Um, she played herself and her cousin, I believe, um, who are both witches. And I believe she filmed this movie after she left The Facts of Life. Now this movie reminds me of Harry Potter. Um, Feruza Bulk, um, who people are familiar with as playing a witch in the craft, actually played a witch in the first witch, the worst witch first. Um, she played Mildred Hubble, who is kind of, kind of more like, um, oh, what is this? I'm, why am I losing it now? <laughs> Uh, oh, she's more of a Neville Longbottom than a Harry Potter um, because she's so clumsy and um, she messes up a lot. But um, Mildred is one of the young girls at a prestigious witch academy. She can't seem to do anything right and is picked on by classmates and teachers. Uh, the headmistress of the school, Miss Sardbroom, seems to be like making it her mission to make sure that Mildred fails. Um, I really like this movie. Um, Tim Curry plays the Grand Wizard and he was like totally fabulous in this movie like he is in everything else he does. Um, one of my favorite um, scenes from the movie is when Tim Curry uh, play, uh, sings the song Anything Can Happen on Halloween and you can find that on YouTube. You can find parodies of it on YouTube too. But yeah. Um, so yeah, this played as part of Disney's Halloween treat. I think you can get it, you can watch it on YouTube, or at least you used to be able to, and you can get, probably get it on DVD, but it does not play on TV anymore, I don't think. Maybe it'll be on Disney streaming. I know that Mr. Boogity is supposed to be. Unfortunately, that doesn't come out till after Halloween. But here's Charlotte Ray playing one of which is their 
There's Tim Curry as the Grand Wizard in this music scene. And this right here is a woman who teaches them their flying lessons on their brooms. There's the headmistress, Miss Hard Broom, who has it out for Mildred. And this movie has um, kind of like a, a Malfoy villain in it, like Harry Potter. I should probably just get out of the pictures. Um, and her name is Ethel Hallow. So this movie's Malfoy is Ethel Hallow. But of course it has a good ending, so. But yeah, I really recommend The Worst Witch. Okay, so another movie that isn't really Halloween themed, but is creepy enough to watch on Halloween is another Feruza Bulk movie, Return to Oz. And basically this sequel to The Wizard of Oz. sorry about that, <laughs> shows that when Dorothy came back and she couldn't stop talking about Oz, she was sent to a psychiatric hospital where her brain was being experimented on or was going to be experimented on because they thought that she was having like a breakdown. Um, and at the creepy hospital, she was saved by a mysterious girl and somehow landed back in Oz, um, where the witch Mombi and the Gnome King have destroyed everything that had made the land beautiful. And she meets a lot of interesting new characters like TikTok, who's kind of a, a weird little robot man, and um, her chicken, Belina, can now talk. Uh, she meets Jack Pumpkinhead, who's similar to the Scarecrow, but he's got a pumpkin for a head. Um, and then you've got Gump, who is basically like a moose head or a caribou head or something on on a sofa type thing. It's really interesting. Um, but there's some really creepy characters too, like the Wheelers. Let's see. This is one of the wheelers, and this is TikTok. This Mumby. This is the girl that helped her escape. And this is randomly Paul McCartney. <laughs> Oh, there they are 
where there's like there's these dudes that are hunched over and their arms and legs are like they have wheels attached to them so okay guys um i'm gonna end this here because i can see that things are gonna get stuck if i don't so okay okay